Yeah, it's been nice actually. It was nice to uh, to have a time trial after the win, just to enjoy it a little bit, you know, instead of being straight back onto it, trying to uh, trying to win again. But we got a sprint today um, to Chateau, and it's back on it. A uh, little green jersey to, to do it with. Thanks, man. But uh, that's been nice, you know. It's nice we're finishing Chateau today, and uh, it's my first ever stage win. Was at, on the same finish as in 2008, 13 years ago. Seems like an age ago, and uh, and yeah, 31 wins later, here we are again. I won again in 2011. There, it's a nice finish, big boulevard sprint, uh, one and a half kilometers to the finish, like typical of the old Tour de France. You know, it's what I grew up watching, and uh, it makes it a special, a special sprint. A super strong breakaway tried to go clear at the start. Van Avermaet, De Gens, Asgrin, Crow Anderson, Pollitt, Skewens, Rickart and Zimmerman. But the peloton were having none of it, with Groupama FDJ, Arkea Samsic and Kubega Nexthash leading the chase. The intermediate sprint, some 56k from the finish, giving the sprinters a chance to stretch their legs. And getting ready, Sagan makes his way up on the left-hand side. Cavendish in the green, immediately onto the wheel of Morcal. Oh, Sagan nearly touches the wheel of Morcal. Sprinting for the line now. Cavendish seems to not quite have the legs there, and it's Colbrelli who takes it on the left-hand side. Not easy for the leading duo to stay away on the long, straight roads into Chateau Roux, a place with special significance for the man in green. Still two corners to come, 2.6 or 1.6. Come on, boys. Good, guys. Now you're safe, but reorganize after the corner. Eh? Keep a sharp eye open. Eh? One kilometre to go. Van Poppel has his lead out train in the neon yellow on the left hand side. The arrival of Nasser Buani in the colours of Arkea Samsic. 800 metres to go now. Ballerini is digging in here. He needs to take Morkow as close to the line as possible. On the right, Mathieu van der Poel heading out for Alpes and Phoenix. Alpes and Phoenix have got their lead out train right. Sagan comes in. There's two trains. Alpes and Phoenix with Philipson and the team of De Koinic quick step with Cavendish and locked in on his wheel is Case Bowl with Sonny Colbrelli. Now it's fast. 300 metres to go. Alpes and Phoenix kick with Tim Molier. On his wheel is Philipson. Cavendish has already beaten him this season. Cavendish bites now and goes. The Max missile going all oh, there all over the road Cavendish in the center and Mark Cavendish wins number 32 yeah <laughs> 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 What the lead out, boys. That was really, really powerful. Oh, congrats, man. What a you're, you're in the form of your life or what? No, I'm in the team of my life. <laughs> Great man, really, really, really nice to see. What a win. Yeah, chapeau. <laughs> Number two. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Guido. Number three in total. I'm not thinking about anything. Again. I've just won a stage of the Tour de France. If that was my first stage, if that was my 32nd stage, I'd just won a stage of the Tour. And uh, that's what people work their whole lives for, you know. Yeah. I'm very, very happy. That's all I say. If I'm good enough to win 50 more, I'm good enough to win 50. If I'm good enough to never win again here, so be it. I'm not good enough to win again here. Um, it's the Tour de France. <laughs> Another one. Oh, we got. <laughs> Peter, stay here, we do sports together, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hold on, bro. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 
You're amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, eh? <laughs> the turbo is back. <laughs> You're, you're the legend, mate. You're the legend. <laughs> oh man. So now, there's, now it's two, there's no questions anymore, you know? Yeah, exactly. There's no doubts. Bam. And Michael left the left. The wind's coming from the right. Michael left the left. I just needed 10 more meters. I was like... Mm. But you went into the strip field you know, yeah. between the boat and then you, was, you could breathe. Right? They were, but they were... They were going so fast, the boys. Oh <laughs> my god. Like, I was like, oh, oh. And then Julian just, he, and, I was like, and then Bow, <laughs> he just left. <laughs> 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 he was torturing him. Oh, no, it's so strong. Oh, we talked about it. That the second guy just killed. And then, and then luckily, like Michael just swore. He saw Vanderpool coming. Yeah. Coming, 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 coming. And then he opens and he still goes. It's like, but imagine, Valero, even Van der Poel came, he came, he came. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when he arrived to Valero, he popped. And then the others come, and then after, a little after, also Bauer opened. But come on, Bauer. He was pulling from kilometer. That was today, right? For me, the most impressive thing was the chat through 10 years ago with HTC. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that was today. Same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a long time ago, that team was so long. Like, really, I think. Gata. And Caspi. But well, Caspi, especially after earlier on, you know? Like, to do, like. I was like. Oh, I felt it. I felt pressure. I did it too, though, and I was like. Oh. And that was fun. I was like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, really, yeah? But that's. Oh. I've just won a stage of the Tour de France. So that was my first stage, that's my 32nd stage. I've just won a stage of the Tour de France there. just keeping the pedals turning over into the race finish a second place on the day for Matteo Catania of the Coini quick step Another super hard day after yesterday, but I'm super happy to these results and uh, I did my best. And okay, the second is not first, but I'm super happy for this. Look at the face of Cavendish. That's a painful look, but he has made it and he's held on to the green jersey by 1 minute 29 seconds. Uh, that meant more than that meant more than the wins, to be honest getting through that stage. That was the one stage we were just terrified of. Well, well just to have them guys with me. Just, they could have been easy in another group. They stayed with me, they just paced me, the support they gave me. Like, well, 
Well, I'm all emotional, man. Really. Yeah, they're them days that, as much as I wanted to come back to Tour de France, I forgot about them days. Like, but I remember saying to my wife, Peter, like the last couple of years, like I guess so, I was getting jealous of like quick, like quick step and that, because they always had like, you know, all the sprinters or Damar or something like that, front is that they always had these guys waiting with them. The last year I was just left on my own, like, you know, and uh, and you see that today, like, come these dividends he can climb, he sits there, he pays for me, Markov and Tim just rode every climb on the front, you know. Well, oh, more than more than in the sprints, it's the day that I'm lucky to have such a team like this, like, really, like, I'm just humbled by it. <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> broken. <up. laughs> so Michael Morkov and I have known each other for 20 years, man. We used to race when we were kids on the velodrome together, and uh, we were we raced in world championships against each other. We raced on the road against each other. We raced in criteriums against each other, and. Uh, yeah, we talked even in the past, so I always wanted to work with him, you know, um, and uh, well, I finally get to. Um, I'm, it's hard not to be a massive fan of him. What he does is, is an art, you know. I was fortunate to run many years with Mark Renshaw, who was cool, calm and collected. And Michael's the same, just cool, calm and collected. But how he sees things, how he sees a race, he's an artist, like really. Um, and I was just desperate to race with him this year, you know, uh, just to feel it, just to feel what it's like being behind. So yeah, it's uh, it's taken twenty years, but I'm like a kid doing it, you know. I get to ride a sprint in the Tour de France behind Michael Morco. Like, come on now. Pretty flat day of 190 kilometers with just one minor climb on paper, one for the sprinters with Mark Cavendish targeting his third win of the race. But if enough strong riders were able to go up the road, they could make life difficult for his De Kernick quick step team. In the end though, only two men got away in the first few kilometers. An ideal looking scenario for the likes of Cavendish, Nasabuani and Jasper Philipson. But a couple of riders were looking to shake things up anyway. Stefan Kung has attacked hard and on his wheel as Sonny Colbrelli tries to get across as well. This is a huge move. Well, a move from Colbrelli, one of Cavendish's main rivals in the green jersey competition, quickly shut down by De Koenig quick step. Now we have to be careful with the wind. That kilometer 160, then it gets open. Eh? Be careful there. It is if you can, you bring Kev to the front eh? if you're with him. The pace really increasing now with De Koenig quick step on the front for Cavendish and bike exchange working for Michael Matthews. The Wolfpack on a charge with the threat of rain at the finish line. <laughs> Michael is moving up, Michael is moving up with Kev. They're moving up, they're almost there, they're almost there. Communicator guys. Casper is coming up. Casper Astri needs to take David Ballerini as close as he can. He will up the pace and take it to Michael Morkow, leaving Mark Kevin to do his sprint. Big move by Nasser Gouani on the right hand side of the road. He's going to go in his own train. They're looking around to check where he is. They're 500 metres from the finish line. They drop Gouani off on the wheel of Jasper Philipson. But here goes the sprint now. Is Cavendish going to get number 33? Sagan is coming up on the wheel. Gouani is there. They swing right hander. Cavendish in a perfect position. 290 metres to go. Morkow is ready to try and launch the 
Max Missile for win number 33 in his career. Luani is right on the wheel. Now the sprint opens up. Here goes Cavendish aiming for win number 33. Well, Van Aert is coming alongside him. Cavendish, 33 wins in the Tour de France. Max's record is on. Yeah! <laughs> What a what a perfect race boys what a perfect sprint what a perfect sprint Keep on. Guys that was sensational <laughs> Sensational guys <laughs> That's a lead <laughs> If per perfect exists, this was even better than perfect. Oh, mate. What a team. Look. We made some good pulls, eh? On the running boards and stuff. Nice. You were the lifesaver. Ah, you were the worries. 911 today. No worries. Where's my glasses? Yeah, I have it with me. I have it. I've ordered them. Another one. Okay. Oh! Oh! The only one of the Lance and the Yost Sport and Michel Sabro, the chef of the fondateur of the Lance Sabro. Old school, run in the mill, like you read in a cycling magazine, lead out, textbook lead out. Um, just get the lads on the front, pull as fast as they can so no one can come up and try and come past you. Doing the finish. We knew this finish because uh, I didn't make it last time we came to this finish. It was in 15. I got dropped on early crying gripe one. So we studied that, studied that, studied that. And we knew if we took that last corner wide, you can keep the speed. And uh, actually, it split in the wind, but we didn't try to split it. We weren't really that bothered about it. We were, we were confident that we had the team for the sprint. But again, like I'm just humbled, man. Just for me, yeah, I, I have to finish it off, you know. Um, I'll bet over all of them, I didn't really do anything. I did 150 meters. It was the it was the team. I have them to thank for everything. Congrats. Yeah. Oh my life. I'm so proud. Very beautiful. But how? You never forget that feeling of sitting behind your team. And just seeing one after one chopping off yeah. and just see it fits with the kilometers, you know? And like we spoke, he goes to the corner. Yeah. When he, he went cool. to the corner I knew it was win. You knew it also. Yeah. <laughs> just laid off. You just went, you see it lying out. Yeah. I said it to you before, but like there's sometimes that there's a team that's going to be talked about in history. It's going to be written about in magazines, in books. They're going to use case studies like that. This is it. Not just today, but the whole tour. But today, especially, that was like playing a f computer game. Like, I'm so proud, man. Like, thank you so, really thank you all so much for the belief, for everything. Like, a world champion carrying bottles in his jersey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's special this this team man. Thank you everyone. Eh? Thank you.